Hi, welcome to AlgebraClass.com. My name is Karen Hutchinson, and in this video we're going to solve a two-step equation. We're going to take a look at example number two, and we're going to solve the equation negative 5x minus 4 equals 46. This is a two-step equation because there are two steps that we need to perform in order to get x by itself. X is the variable, and that's what we're solving for. So we want to get it by itself on the left-hand side of the equation. That means that we need to get rid of the 4 and the negative 5. So that's going to require two steps. Your first step is always going to be to get rid of the constant. The constant in this equation is the 4. It stands alone, does not have a variable attached to it. So that's why we call it a constant. That is the number that we're going to get rid of first. We're going to use our opposite operations in order to get rid of the 4, and we're going to do that by adding 4 to both sides. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to bring down the negative 5x minus 4, which is what we have on the left-hand side to begin with, and then we're going to ask ourselves, what do we need to do to get rid of minus 4? What's the opposite of minus 4? And that's to add 4. So if we add 4 to both sides, then we can get rid of the minus 4. And remember the rule is whatever I do to one side, I must do to the other side. And that's why I'm adding 4 to both sides of the equation. Now the reason that I did this is because, think of this now as a negative 4. Negative 4 plus 4, that's 0. That's how I've gotten rid of it on the left-hand side. So now I'm going to bring down what's left. On the left-hand side, I still have negative 5x. And on the right-hand side, I now have 46 plus 4. And 46 plus 4 is 50. So my new equation now is negative 5x equals 50. Now this is now a one-step equation. I've completed one step and I have one more step to go. So now my goal is to get rid of this negative 5. This is the coefficient of x. We always get rid of the coefficient last. Since this technically says negative 5 times x, I need to use the opposite operation. So the opposite of multiply is to divide. So I'm going to divide by negative 5 on both sides of the equation. I want to keep the equation balanced, and that's why whatever I do to one side, I must do to the other side. So negative 5 divided by negative 5 is actually 1, and 1 times x is just x. And that's how I get x by itself. So I have x equals, and then 50 divided by negative 5 is negative 10. So my answer should be x equals negative 10. Now there's always a way to check, and the way that you want to check your answer is to go ahead and substitute your answer for x into the original equation. So if you have negative 5x minus 4 equals 46, the only number that should work for x is negative 10. It's the only number that we should be able to substitute in order for this to work out correctly. So let's see, negative 5 times negative 10 is positive 50. And 50 minus 4 is 46. So that does work out. And that's how you check your answer. Okay? So again, this was a two-step equation. We performed two steps in order to solve. First, we added 4 to both sides, and then we divided by negative 5 on both sides. And this is how you solve a two-step equation.